Depending on how long you've been trying to get your ex back, or how many times you've tried and failed already, you've probably heard people talking about giving up the concerted efforts you've been making and go with no contact instead. Now, at first glance, this may sound like a crazy plan, right? <laughs> the idea that you're able to get your ex back by not trying to get your ex back sounds absolutely absurd, and yet it works. In fact, it often works where everything else you've tried in the past has failed. Now, there are three reasons why this works. The first is that absence does indeed make the heart go fonder. There's something about not being surrounded by memories, flooded by emotions, and constantly exposed to someone that makes it easier to look past the negative associations and see the positive. Once enough time has passed, the memories of the arguments, the fights, the disagreements, even the petty annoyances fade away. All that's left are the good memories and the sense of what they really do miss about you and your relationship. The second is that time heals old wounds. Even if things ended badly between you, and things were said that shouldn't have been, time has an amazing way of soothing wounds and healing broken hearts. You'll be amazed by the type of wounds that can be healed when enough time has been allowed to pass. Your ex can forgive all the little things as well as many of those big things, even cheating but you have to be willing to allow the right amount of time to pass in order to allow that forgiveness to happen. And the bigger the grievance, the longer the time will need to pass before they've truly had time to heal. The third is that they can't understand what they've lost until it's truly gone. They'll never understand what they're missing out on without you in their life if you are a constant presence in their life. It's as simple as that. They're never going to take you back if they get all the benefits of your presence, the support, the love, the friendship, without being required to return those things. So take a break. Step away. Don't answer their calls for a while. Wait. Then wait some more. Because one day they'll realize what they've lost, and they'll be ready to begin again. But there's a trick to making this work. You have to take the hard line about it before you can produce the results you want. I'm not saying you need to go out of your way to avoid them forever, but it's a good idea to avoid them for a little while, sometimes a long while. You need to give them time and space. You need to wait long enough for them to start remembering the good and forgetting the bad. Most importantly, you need to give you both time to figure out what you want from the relationship and from each other the second time around. Then, when the second chance does arrive, you need to take the time to make sure both of you are on the same page about your expectations for the future. But that's another video. This is Dee Lee Church of Get Your Ex Back for Keeps.